Hello everybody, RetroGuy25 here. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't done a video in a long while and uh, maybe some of you or maybe one of you might have unsubscribed but uh, I've been going for a lot of stuff lately, nothing really major or really like, like front knee or anything but uh, I've just been busy doing a lot of other stuff and whatnot. I'm sorry that I haven't put up a video in a while. So, it's been about a few months or so, something like that, and I try to do it every two weeks. Uh, because that's what I would like to try to do. Or sometimes me once here and there, once once a month or a couple of times a month or something. So, that's what I really, usually try to do and whatnot. So, anyways, uh, today's video is going to be a pickups video that I've been, that I picked up in the past few months or so or, or whatever. So here we go. I'm gonna get started with PlayStation 3. So here we go. Kill Zone 2. Uh exclusively only on PlayStation 3. Never been remastered for any other PlayStation for any of the other PlayStation consoles, at least at least not yet. Quake Wars, enemy territory. This is also on 360, but I got the PS3 version. These are also on 360, but I got them PS3. Bioshock, the first one. I got Bioshock 2. Don't like it as much as the first one, but it's still pretty good though. I think it's a alright game, whatnot, for you, especially being on the PS3. 360 games. Now, uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. I got it. I got it for the 360 pretty cheap, about 10 bucks. Why not? I don't think it's gonna go any higher than that because it's still it's a pretty common game, so there's still lots of them to be resold. But yeah, Grand Theft Auto 4. Game of the Year edition for. Red Dead Redemption, the first one, as you can see, right there. Fable 3, I'm a big Fable fan. Uh, this is uh, the last main entry one that they did uh, from the Winehead Wine Studios. And uh, I guess some other company might be making a fourth one, but right now it's just being called Fable, as a lot of people have I discovered. Now, version of Xbox games, all of them, for the rest of this video. Uh, Medal of Honor, Rising Sun, which this will be, let's see, I believe the second, uh, sixth generation, uh, Medal of Honor game. For the Xbox, PC, and PS2. And I think also for the GameCube. But yeah. Tenchu. Return from Darkness. Now, it this one's a little different. Because it has online play. The PS2 version didn't have it. And that was Wrath of Heaven. But Return from Darkness is a little better. In some ways, because of the online stuff, but that won't work anymore unless you do a private custom server from the fan service or something like that. And then you can possibly go online with it, do the online multiplayer or whatever. But yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it's still it's still just as good as the PS2 one. Just it just feels a little different, but yeah, it's pretty good. Also, it doesn't seem to really work. Like all the way, but I'm gonna get it cleaned and then see if it works uh, a lot further. If it does, then I'm going to uh, play it even more and see if I can beat it. And if it's beatable, then I'll keep that copy or just get a, a new copy. It's not that much, it's only like a 10 dollar game. Uh, it might get a little bit more now, but still, who knows? It still might stay pretty cheap. Spy Hunter, Nowhere to Run, and it's complete. And uh, this is like one of the very last uh, main entry Spy Hunter games to be put on 
on uh, any of the consoles, but it was never released on the GameCube, but it was released for the Xbox, as you can see here, and the PlayStation 2. And, if I remember correctly, also for the PC, so, and it's pretty good. It's, it's okay, it's not like the older fashion Spy Hunter, it's like Spy Hunter, for very first 3D Spy Hunter, just cause Spy Hunter and Spy Hunter 2, but it's, it's pretty good in my opinion, but yeah, check it out if you want to, like emulator or whatever. Tied the Tasmanian Tiger. Uh, it's a uh, action adventure platforming game. There's three main ones that's in 3D, and the fourth one is a uh, 2D graphic, like uh, side scrolling one. But the first three, especially the first one, I would definitely recommend them. They're pretty good. I just don't have two and three right now, but I'm gonna get them. Pirates of the Caribbean, just called Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, it came out after the first movie tie-in game. This is just a game that's by Beth Beth Desta uh, Softworks, and it's and it's pretty much open world and whatnot, and it's in its own in its own way and whatnot. It's pretty good, but yeah, I would recommend checking it out. But yeah. Uh, just hit ready your future and Sega GT 2002 combo pack. And yes, it's complete. And I think that one's complete, so I gotta check that. Just to see if it's, let's see if that, yeah, this one's complete too. And it works so far all the way. You know, here's a survival horror that some people might not like the series, but there's a lot of people that seems like they do, I think. So, it's pretty good. But it's, it's two players, but the second player has to jump in, which is kind of different. Instead of picking a two-player option in the beginning of the game. So, it's a little different. And it's called Upscare. This was like a $35 game when I got it. I paid 30 for it because uh, he decided to do $5 cheaper, at least. But now, it's a lot more expensive. But I can't remember what it's going for now. But... According to price charting, it's, it's a little bit more than thirty-five dollars, but it's the Xbox version that seems to be the cheapest, and PS2 version seems to be a lot more expensive. But yeah, obscure for the version of Xbox, PS2, and, and I believe also for the PC. But that's it. No GameCube one. But yeah. Now this I got to show. I got to show it here. It says Dungeons and Dragons Heroes. Exclusively only for the Xbox, and well, it would say that if I had the, the actual case, but here's the disc and whatnot. So yeah, and it's very T for teen and whatnot. Like a lot of the Dungeons and Dragons are in today's time, but this in, this one's pretty good. But it's more mission based. It's not like open world or anything like that. And then last for not for least, uh, the very first. Halo Combat Evolved for the original Xbox version. And it's backwards compatible for Xbox 360. The second one is too, uh, but it's set to some technical issues. There's some some issues with it. Uh, but otherwise, it does work. It just doesn't work perfectly. But the first one works with no issues. It works perfectly fine on the 360. And it is complete. I just couldn't remember, but it's complete. It's got everything. But yeah, that's basically about it that I picked up over the past few months or so. So yeah. Um. But anyways, uh, I figured to leave it off at at this moment. This is just a little bit of a short video, cause uh, I'm using my phone, so it, it it can only get up to so much. But anyways. Uh, but yeah, so, that's what I picked up the past few months, and whatnot, and, uh, pretty much just about all of them are complete, and whatnot, uh, except for maybe a couple, but, oh well, I just, I usually just wait to get the game, just to get the game so I can play, I don't just collect, 
I like to play the game too. As long as it works right the way, then I would keep it for sure for a while. But I would still come back and replay it maybe sometimes, just like any game. But yeah. All right. Well, I'll catch you later. And until next time, uh, just hang out and chill and just do what you can for the summer. See ya. Uh...